Hi there, and welcome to our video on biogeochemical cycles. In this video, we're going to be talking about how these special cycles help our planet and everything that lives on it. First, let's explain what biogeochemical cycles are. These are special ways that different chemicals move around the Earth and between living things and the environment. There are four main biogeochemical cycles that are really important, and we're going to talk about each of them in more detail. The first is the carbon cycle. This cycle is all about how carbon moves around the Earth. Carbon is a special chemical that is a building block of life, and it's used by plants to turn sunlight into energy through a process called photosynthesis. The carbon cycle starts when plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and use it to make food. When animals eat the plants, the carbon becomes part of their bodies. And when plants and animals die, the carbon goes back into the air or the ground. This process keeps going, over and over, and it helps to keep the air clean and the climate stable. The second biogeochemical cycle is the nitrogen cycle. Nitrogen is another important chemical that plants and animals need to grow and stay healthy. But plants and animals can't use nitrogen in its normal form, so they need help to change it into something they can use. The nitrogen cycle starts when special bacteria in the soil convert nitrogen into a form that plants can use. When plants take in the nitrogen, they use it to make things like proteins and DNA. And when animals eat the plants, the nitrogen becomes part of their bodies. When plants and animals die, the nitrogen goes back into the soil, and the cycle starts all over again. The third biogeochemical cycle is the phosphorus cycle. Phosphorus is another chemical that plants need to grow, and it's a key part of fertilizers. The phosphorus cycle starts when rocks in the ground break down and release phosphorus into the soil. Plants take up the phosphorus and use it to grow, and when animals eat the plants, the phosphorus becomes part of their bodies. The phosphorus cycle is a little different from the other cycles because it doesn't go all the way back to the start. Instead, some of the phosphorus ends up in the ocean, where it's used by tiny plants and animals. And some of it ends up in the air, where it can cause pollution. So it's important to be careful with how we use phosphorus, so we don't mess up the cycle. The fourth biogeochemical cycle is the water cycle. The water cycle is all about how water moves around the earth. Water is essential for life, and all living things need it to survive. The water cycle starts when the sun heats up the earth's surface and causes water to evaporate, or turn into gas. The water vapor rises into the air and forms clouds, and when the clouds get heavy enough, they release the water as rain or snow. The water falls back to the ground and flows into rivers, lakes, and oceans. And then the cycle starts all over again when the sun heats up the water and causes it to evaporate again. In addition to these four main cycles, there is also a new cycle that is becoming more and more important. The plastic cycle. Plastic is a special type of material that is made from chemicals called polymers. It's used in a lot of different products, like bags, bottles, and toys. The plastic cycle starts when people make and use plastic products. When the products are no longer needed, they are often thrown away, which means they end up in the environment. This can be a problem because plastic doesn't break down easily, so it can stay in the environment for a very long time. Plastic that ends up in the ocean can be especially harmful. It can be eaten by fish and other marine animals, which can make them sick or even kill them. And it can also break down into tiny pieces called microplastics, which can be hard to see and can be harmful to animals and even humans. So, it's important to be careful with plastic and to try to reduce the amount of plastic we use. There are a few things we can do to help, like using reusable bags instead of plastic bags, using a refillable water bottle instead of a plastic bottle, and recycling plastic when we can. The plastic cycle is a new and important part of the biogeochemical cycles on our planet. It's important to be aware of it and to try to reduce the amount of plastic we use, so we can keep our planet healthy and clean. Now, how do recycling and sustainability fit into this picture? Well, by practicing sustainable living and recycling, we can help to preserve and protect these vital biogeochemical cycles. One way that recycling helps to support these cycles is by conserving resources. When we recycle materials like paper, plastic, and metal, we are able to reduce the amount of new raw materials that need to be extracted from the earth. 
This helps to preserve natural resources and reduces the negative impacts of resource extraction on the environment. Thank you for watching.